Well, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, a channel dedicated to the places we go, the people we meet, the RV and van life lifestyle as I travel around in my Winnebago Travado, a 21-foot camper van. Um, not traveling currently because while this content was recorded in early March 2020, this will be released the first week in April 2020, and in that 30 days, our entire world has been turned upside down. I'm currently uh, grounded at home base, as many of us are, and I don't think there's a better time for a message that you're going to hear in the next 15 minutes and the tool that you can actually put into your hands um, to really figure out what is next. Uh, millions of people are losing their jobs, um, thousands are dying, tens of thousands are, are becoming infected with the COVID-19 um, infection and the consequential uh, illness. And again, just never a better time to hear a message of positivity and planning to look forward on how to get past this and what the next 10 years brings into your life. So I hope you enjoy this video. Download the tool and let's get going on um, grabbing your RV freedom. If you're not doing it already, <laughs> enjoy. So hey, got a special treat. You know how I like to give you guys special treats. Um, today, I'm gonna introduce you to Jason. He is the founder and entrepreneur of Goal Crazy. And uh, Jason, just welcome to uh, to the Go Small Live Large audience. Really appreciate you being here today. I'm excited to be here too. I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> so that's so. Let me just share real quick how I, I came to meet Jason. And you know, this this channel is all about um, helping you achieve your uh, RV dreams, your goals, whatever they might be, whether it's part time, no time full-time, um, but we learn and we share about places, people, and the RV lifestyle. And how I came to know Jason is, I actually saw a shout out from Paul and Chad, another Travato um, uh, YouTube channel, and they mentioned Goal Crazy, and I'm a kind of a goal planning nerd. So I went to their stuff, and uh, went to their, uh, the Goal Crazy uh, site, sent Jason a note, and, and, and I'm not even sure what I put in the note, except, hey, you need to use your Apple Pencil or something like that. <laughs> and Unlike most people that send a note to the company, I actually got a response back and that started a little bit of a dialogue. And we just thought it'd be really cool to bring his goal planning uh, program uh, to you to help you um, plan your RV, you know, your fantasy plan. We, we've talked about our fantasy plan, how we executed on that, started two years ago. So I just wanted to you know, bring Jason in today, had a few questions for him. And, uh, and Jason, tell us a little bit about yourself. How'd you become an entrepreneur? Why Goal Crazy? I love that name, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us you. your, your background and, and um, Goal Crazy. What's it all about? Yeah, so I'm from Akron, Ohio, and I got really into goals. My family has a car dealership. My dad is a car dealer. So when I graduated from college, I was working in the family business. And being in a sales organization is very goal-oriented. But my dad was getting me ready to one day go into the family business and take it over. So I was doing about six months in each department and going through that process was kind of like every department, you have different metrics or different goals for each department. You know, obviously when you're in sales, you're selling cars, but the different departments have different things you're working towards. So going through the different departments, I got really into writing my goals, getting a system down for taking my goals, what are the behaviors I need to do every day to get there and then tracking my progress so that I could do well in each department that I was going through. And after working there for a while, I kind of got to a point that I, I realized I didn't want to go into the car dealership. Uh, I liked the people there. I liked the environment. I liked my family, but I've always wanted to be a business owner. And I think in a lot of ways I wanted to be a car dealer just because it would be easier to do that than start your own business. But I wasn't excited about it. So I'd started, you know, my goal system doing that. And I was really excited about it. And in that process, lots of times I was going on Amazon or sites and looking for different goal planners out there and I'd buy them, but I could never find one I liked. I felt like the biggest piece they were missing was they would have a section or a little box on the side that said your goals for the month, or maybe it's even something a little more elaborate but they didn't have a way to track your progress or to hold yourself accountable daily to make sure you're actually following your plan. Um, I think we talked about it a little bit last time. I'm very sold on writing down your goals, but if you're not tracking your progress, how do you know that you're actually getting closer to them or how are you, 
holding yourself accountable to be taking the steps that it's going to get you there. So I felt like that was the biggest component they were missing and also a way to discover your goals and get clarity on them. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I kind of realized I didn't want to go into the dealership, I decided that I wanted to go full into making my own journal. So to do that, I quit my job and I spent seven and a half months interviewing people, doing focus groups. Lots of, I was interviewing lots of successful business owners, entrepreneurs, salesmen, and just kind of asking how they set and track their goals, wow, putting great. together a template, yeah, and doing focus groups. So, and that's been the process for Goal Crazy. I think I told you last time, the, the reason I called it Goal Crazy was, there's a couple of reasons. One of the first reasons was, is everybody told me I was crazy when I left the family business. Um, <laughs> uh, but when I was meeting with these individuals, one of the things I feel like I started to realize was it seems like the more successful they were, the more crazy they were. And I mean, some of these guys really seemed like they were crazy. They were willing to take big risks, uh, work harder than other people, do things other people weren't willing to do. And it was kind of like, that's what I wanted, you know? And that's what I wanted my planner to help people do is go crazy about your goals. So that's, yeah, go crazy. It. <laughs> and it's kind of like buying an RV, selling their stuff and hitting the road. It's everybody I talk to that's <laughs> done crazy. that wants to do it thinks they're crazy. So I think there's some <laughs> alignment between our, our visions and the way we, we kind of roll here. Um, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're, you're full time. Uh, so it's, mm -hmm. you're making money doing it. Um, what's your family yep. now? Uh, they're, they've been very supportive through the whole thing. I mean, it wasn't a very fun conversation when I told my dad I wanted to leave, you know, the family's company, but uh, they're very supportive about it now. And now, do you have an RV? Have you been RVing before? Just curious. Well, I don't have one, but my dad has one. And we've had an RV for most of my childhood. Now, I'm, I'm one of six kids. So we would go on road trips where there would be all eight of us staying in the motorhome. So it was like extreme family bonding. Uh, <laughs> we'd do trips from... Also known as Rumper Room. room. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty extreme snug in there. family bonding. That's nice. <laughs> But because uh, we would do trips from Ohio out west, you know, to Colorado, Wyoming and spend a couple of weeks or Florida, lot, lots of weekend trips. So very familiar with RVs. So. You mentioned accountability. I'm really big on accountability. And that's the thing I'm probably the weakest at. Most people are. So that's why people often hire a personal trainer at the gym so they can literally stand there and watch you count your reps. <laughs> because if you didn't have that session and you're paying for it, you'd probably just not show up for the gym. That's been my experience at least. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the accountability tool and, and the tool itself. What makes yours different and how do you put that uh, accountability in there? The biggest thing with the accountability is, so here's the, the planner and I can kind of show you guys through it all, but in the back there are, there's a folder that has three habit cards. And uh, I imagine you've heard the quote, like your successful behaviors will lead to your success right or it's kind of like common sense uh or your unsuccessful behaviors will lead to your failures so what are the successful behaviors you need to be doing every day that is going to get you to your goals and one of the things the planner has them do is right on their habit card is what i call it 10 things that they need to do every day and some of mine are get up on my first alarm work out certain things for my business say a prayer they're kind of things for different areas of my life but then every night I will go through and I'll walk through the whole planner, but this is the biggest for the accountability. Can you see that? Very yep, well. now it's come through. Good. So uh, you'll write your 10 habits here, and then they pair up with these check boxes on the side. So every night you'll go, number one, did I do this? Check. Yes. Two, no. You know, three, yes. And then so on and so forth. And then you'll give yourself a grade. So if you did seven out of your 10, you had a 70% day. And again, it's, I know if I do the things on my habit card every day, I'm going to get to my goals. Your successful behaviors will lead to your successes. So all I need to do is make sure I'm doing them every single day. So we've talked about the fantasy plan a little bit out there. And, um, you know, a lot of people are really looking to make some, some big life changes, whether it's, um, you know, getting in an RV and doing full-time, part-time, you know, waiting for retirement, um, using the RV as a tool to have some life-changing events. In your opinion, in your experience of working with all those successful people and developing a really cool tool to help people achieve their dreams, what keeps people from achieving big things? I think the biggest thing is a lack of clarity. Oh. And that's one of the great things about putting a plan together on paper is that it forces you to get clarity. But lots of times 
these big these goals seem so big in our head you know you want to get an rv or probably a good example i can relate to is like when i got uh, my first rental property it's like that seemed impossible i just graduated from college but when you sit down with a piece of paper and you start writing out all right what are the steps i need to to do to get there and you might find lots of things you don't actually know how to do but you know how to learn them it's like i don't know how to analyze a deal but i know how i could learn that i could read self i could read a couple books on it i can find three people who have real estate i could take out to lunch i can call just a real estate agent you know like and then once you start putting this plan together you realize that you you know how to do the whole thing and even the things you don't know how to do you know how to learn right so once you put it in writing you can see this this is something i can do and you can start knocking through the steps and i think it also helps once you kind of have everything written down you can direct your focus towards just the next step lots of times we focus so much on how am i going to finish this project how am i going to launch this product or you know buy my rv and you get so stuck on the end when you should be asking yourself what can i do right now for 20 minutes that can get me closer or what's the next step maybe all the next step is is going and looking at rvs or you know i'm going to spend 20 minutes today and research this right just what's the next step don't let the all this stuff down the road in the future i know one of those analogies out there which fits great for you know traveling around in the rv is they say you can drive let's say like from california to maine in the dark only seeing as far as your headlights right like you know where you want to go just focus on what's that next thing and when you have a plan in writing mm. you can focus on what's next even if you don't have all the details at the end 100 percent figured out does that make sense it does it does so um so you have this big planner which is awesome um but i think you create a little tool for the go small live large audience to help people kind of get that next step underway and get some clarity and guys you just got to get moving i um so maybe you can share that with us in just a second, Jason, but what's keeping you back? What's holding you back? What's going to, what's going to take to get you off the couch and on the road, right? Mm -hmm. So, so maybe share with them uh, this tool you've developed and, uh, and tell us about that. Yeah. So I've actually taken a few of the pages, like I was telling you earlier, uh, the planner starts with a thorough life crash course to help you realize what your goals are. So I've actually taken sections from that and put them together in a PDF download that you can get for free. And it's going to help you first start with where you want to see yourself in 10 years, uh, then five years. But the way I like to look at that is I know for myself, I'm relatively young. Like imagining where I'm going to be in 10 years is a long ways down. It's hard to imagine, right? Like a lot can change. But if you look at your age, I feel like it makes it easier. Like whatever your age is now, what's your age going to be in 10 years? You know, I'm going to be, I'll be 35 then, but it's like, what do I want my life to look Youngster. like? <laughs> What do I want my life to look like by the age of 35 is a lot easier for me to wrap my head around than saying, what do I want my life to look like in 10 years? If that, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so I have them start with, you know, 10 years, five years, and then come up with their yearly goals. And there's a couple questions in there to help them kind of think through what their yearly goals are. But then I have a goal planning, goal planning sheets that are straight from the planner that'll help them list out, uh, their goal, their most impactful goal in their life. So they'll kind of start with their broader goals, but then focus on one goal that's going to make the biggest impact in your life. Yep. And I know for myself and people I've met with, when you can prioritize your goals like that, instead of having all these different things you're trying to do, if you say this one is priority, it'll help. Especially then when you haven't, like you've written out, this is my priority goal. So this, it came straight from the planner and I'll kind of uh, point out some of the sections benefits from being gained by or benefits to be gained from achieving your goal you want to sell yourself a little bit you know i mean getting your rv is an accomplishment in itself but what are the other benefits you know you're going to get your freedom it, it's fun i don't know there's there's other benefits that come with it i think one of the big questions to ask yourself is what are you willing to sacrifice in return for getting your goal mm. and that's one of the questions on here because you can't get any something for nothing right you're going to have to sacrifice if it's your weekends couple hours after work researching your rv stuff you're gonna have to put work in right mm -hmm. uh possible obstacles possible solutions list out all the steps and target dates i'm a big fan of deadlines i mean nobody likes deadlines right but uh i think probably one of the best things i can compare it to was when i was in school 
and you would have a deadline for a project, you might wait till the day before to get started and stay up all night working on it. But because that deadline was there, you would find a way to get the project done by then, right? So giving yourself deadlines and holding yourself accountable, you know, use the power of deadlines for your advantage. Uh, and then affirmations. And then the next thing, and I loved how last time I was talking to you, you have like a barometer in your RV. Yeah, I think I you love had it. This is really powerful. Yep. So when uh, you can take a few of your milestones and put them here on the barometer, and this helps you to mentally see your progress. Like if your goal is to get your RV, you know, you could go three months and, you know, your goal is to have an RV and you still don't have an RV. It doesn't seem like you've made progress. But when you take some of those milestones and put them on your barometer and you start filling it up towards there and you see, okay, I don't have my RV yet, but I've gone and looked at three RVs. I've met with the, the lender who's going to loan me the money. You, you've taken steps. You can see your progress. Yep, yep. You're getting closer to your goal, even though you don't have the RV sitting in your driveway yet. If that makes As sense. As you, toward those, those, uh, you pass those milestones on the barometer, it really is a visual indicator of progress. Mm -hmm. So it, it, for me, it keeps, you know, momentum. And uh, I just love that component of it. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, so how can people get that? Uh, and thank you for putting that together for us. It's really, oh, really, absolutely. Cool. really yeah. generous of you. So where can people get that uh, and learn more about you and, and, and your, your, uh, your program? Yeah. So the program is at goalcrazyplanners.com slash Go small, live large. Wow, look at uh, that on our webpage. <laughs> so, yep, it'll be easy to find. And then that's my website, goalcrazyplanners.com. If you want to read more about me or the product, there are videos on there. Feel free to use the videos. I mean, they'll kind of walk you through even the sheets that I've included there. So take advantage of that. I would say the biggest thing is to get started. Even those sheets, kind of like when I was saying earlier, just find what can you do now yeah. I, a lot of times I'll give people things like this or even they'll buy their planner and they're like, well, I, I want to sit down for a couple hours and work on it. And it's like, I mean, if you have a couple hours, that's great. But I would say if you have 10 minutes, sit down for 10 minutes and get started because yeah. the odds that you have a free afternoon, that just never happens. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I totally agree. And I think just, again, getting things in motion is, is the key to a lot of success. And I like your, the, the, the planner pages helps um, get things. It's, 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 it's not overwhelming. It's very doable in, you know, just a short amount of time. Jason, I, I really appreciate this. It's so, I'm just so thrilled with, with your success and this is <laughs> cool. And thanks for, for sharing out to the audience. Uh, we'd love to have you back probably sometime. Thank you so much for, uh, thanks uh, for having me here. You betcha. I'm, I love it. Anything I can do to help. Like I said, I grew up with an RV, so I like that that's what everyone's working towards because RVs are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme family bonding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, man. We'll see you later. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Hope you get something out of this i certainly did i really enjoyed uh, speaking with this young entrepreneur really a hot shot and um, i have the tool in my hands and i'm loving it uh, if you get something out of this i sure to appreciate a thumb up that lets uh, others and youtube know that you enjoy it we'll make more content like that uh, please subscribe to the channel very important that you subscribe uh, why it doesn't cost you anything it lets youtube know that again we're putting out good content it helps others find content like this and at Go Small Live Large, what we do is we and I collectively learn and I share that out with you. And this is exam an example of one of the people we meet along our journey. But 150 of you download this thing. How many of you actually did anything with it? There we go. Yeah. Cool, buddy. All right. Thanks, Jason. Okay. Have a good day, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye.